There's a phrase you've probably heard more than a few times, compassion fatigue. It's a pretty common term these days. And like a lot of things, everyone seems to have their own ways of interpreting what it means and what to do about it. But what is compassion fatigue, really? One belief is that compassion fatigue is a special form of exhaustion or burnout that happens by being too compassionate. It's the idea that there is a cost to caring. The idea that those of us who attend to the suffering of others are more likely to tire and drain ourselves and our ability to be compassionate in the process. We only have so much compassion, the thinking goes, so we need to be careful not to use too much of it in case we get burnt out. But is this true? Is there any evidence out there to support this notion? Initially, compassion fatigue described the stresses and strains of caring taking its toll on healthcare providers, diminishing their ability to be compassionate over time. In other words, compassion is a finite resource that drains the more somebody gets exposed to trauma or suffering. So they need to conserve and protect it, making sure it doesn't get depleted over time. But somewhere along the way, the definition merged with other concepts like burnout, secondary traumatic stress, and vicarious suffering. As a result, compassion became something that wasn't only affected by occupational stress and burnout, but was instead seen as a cause or a source of it. This led some to assume that the best way to avoid this fatigue was being careful to not be too compassionate. The good news is this couldn't be farther from the truth. There's nothing tiring about compassion. If this were true, some of the most compassionate people that you know would also be some of the most exhausted. This isn't my experience, and it's not based on scientific evidence. We know this because when we studied all the available scientific literature, we couldn't find any evidence for compassion causing fatigue. We also didn't find any evidence that it's a fragile or finite resource. However, we did discover something that other researchers are now confirming. Expressing compassion actually has a sustaining and renewing effect. When we are compassionate to others, the person we show compassion to is more likely to be compassionate to the next person that they meet. And so are we. Compassion is good medicine for both the person in need and the people addressing those needs. At first glance, compassion fatigue feels and sounds like something that makes sense. It's like a battery that drains over time. But when we look closer, we find it's more like a renewable resource that sustains us and the people we care for. At a time when society and healthcare systems demand greater efficiencies and set more and more targets, one of the greatest powers we share is our ability to show compassion to one another, transforming ourselves and the world we come in contact with in the process.